There are two types of people in this world. The majority think can't means cannot. The ones who accept their limitations, do what's expected, stay in their lane, never look under that rock, and always do what they're told. Then there are the others, the overachievers. They're thrill seekers, not gatekeepers. Genuine innovators, not I'll do that laters. They're the precious few who are wired differently. The strivers, the drivers, runners and the riders. They're pushed on by something stronger. That itch that must be scratched, the fire that burns within and an unquenchable thirst for more. They crave adversity, can't sit still and absolutely positively won't ask for permission. They're the ones for whom the word can't is a challenge. You can't reinvent the way banking works. Drive to the Arctic, in that, you can't. It's supposed to be a two-year course. You can't do it in six months whilst working. Ha! You've gone over the Atlantic. You've never been on over water. Actresses can't work in finance. Come on, you can't set up a bank in Soho. You box competitively. You're just too small for that. <laughs> you absolutely, 100% can't ride that in the office. Can't be the first fully cloud-based UK bank. Can't loan over eight and a half billion pounds to ambitious entrepreneurs. Can't help over 300,000 people with their savings goals. And definitely can't be in the top 1% of commercial banks in the world by 2021. In a world of can't, we can't not.